once once that once that occurred, we we picked Jordan Davis. What do you think about Jordan Davis? He's a mammoth of a man, a huge guy, huge. combine warrior, and he shows up on tape. There are concerns about his health and his ability to stay in shape. Your overall evaluation of him. We know we need a secondary player. We do still have Fletcher Cox for another year. We do have Hargrave. The defensive tackle position seem a little bit secure, but is this the right position? Was this the right move to go after? Yeah, I I, I think um, in that position, um, I don't, you know, with the Jamison Williams pick going um, – one spot above, I think for me personally, like at the 13, 13, um, at pick 13, you had Kyle Hamilton, you had Jordan Davis. In my opinion, um, I I wasn't so high on Kyle, Kyle Ham- Hamilton. Mm-hmm. Um, I know he's he's has a chance to be a, a phenomenal player. I just don't know if he was the right fit for this team and this defense. And, and in my opinion, usually if you go offensive or defensive line at that pick, you're going to be all right. And mm-hmm. I don't, he has some, some, you know, there's worry about his well, his health and um, staying healthy and keeping his weight down. But I mean, the guy is, is huge. I mean, he's phenomenal yeah. and he can do so much more. He can add so much versatility to this, this defensive front. I mean, um, obviously his pass rush needs to get a little bit better and he can work on that. But I mean, just, just the sheer size of the guy and the strength that he has, he brings a lot and a different element to this, this group. And I know it's getting crowded. We talk about it. it's getting crowded in that defensive line room, Oof. but it's not about it's not a bad problem to have. You know what I mean? It's not a bad yeah. problem to have. So I'm okay with the pick. I like the pick. And then that that see now this pick here bring and we we we're not going to go deep in this. This pick goes against historic Eagles defensive tackle requirements. Yes, we're never with the humongous defensive tackle. We usually like the guys that are quick off the ball, that shoot gaps, that kind of can get to the pass rusher, um, to the passer, um, you know, kind of quickly and use quickness in order to win. Mike Patterson. This, yeah, right. Mike Patterson, um, Hugh Douglas. Yeah. Um, well, he was at the defensive end at times, but um, um, all of these guys that, that were interchangeable. Um, even Fletch, Fletch, he can eat up space, but he likes to play through gaps. That's why he's disgruntled and mad, right? Yeah. Um, at times, you know, in, in Hargrave, for example, he got his sacks not going through people. He got his sack playing through the center or, you know, shooting a gap, right? These guys that are a little bit quicker um, and so on and so forth. So it kind of goes against and makes you think, okay, are we switching it up completely? And that's what it makes me think when you grab a guy like this that can eat up so much space and – Jonathan Gannon loves to be in a two shell, some form of two, some form of four. Do mm-hmm. I need that space eater? Yep. This reminds me of the Williams brothers up there in, 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 with the Vikings many years ago. Those guys that eat up space, a great mm-hmm. nickel, Antoine Winfield, that can play in a box, but they love being two and four behind it, right? So it gives me that vibe, right? It gives yeah. me that that type of vibe. Um, but this guy is, a, is, is definitely a great player and we have somebody to, to to replace Fletcher Cox with so there's so many so many things we can spin off of this but I love the pick 